Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Throughout the first several episodes of Star Wars The Bad Batch, a recurring topic discussed by Governor Wilhuff Tarkin has been the need, or lack thereof, for the continued use of a clone army. In the early going of the series, Tarkin has made it very clear he's not entirely optimistic or hopeful about the Empire's use of clones in the Imperial military. In the third episode of The Bad Batch, titled Replacements, Tarkin and the newly introduced Admiral Rampart were on the clone planet of Kamino discussing the Empire's need of a clone army versus a construction scripted army. At one point, Tarkin asked Rampart about something called Project War Mantle. But what exactly is Project War Mantle? How does it relate to the discussion regarding a clone army versus a conscription army? And does this Imperial initiative have anything to do with the creation of Death Troopers? First, let's discuss what Project War Mantle was. Project War Mantle, also known simply as War Mantle, was first mentioned in the film Rogue One, and it's essentially an initiative the Empire enacted soon after its founding that sought to fill out the ranks of the burgeoning Imperial Army with conscripted soldiers with the intent to depart from the use of a clone army. The project was part of Admiral Rampart's vision for the Empire, and he received support from Governor Tarkin, which was shown in the Bad Batch. By Zero BBY, plans for the initiative were contained with similar, top-secret projects covered by the secret think tank, the Tarkin Initiative, at the Citadel Tower on Scarif along with those of the Death Star. We can see why Tarkin and Rampart would be discussing Project War Mantle while on Kamino, because Rampart and Tarkin Tarkin are unconvinced that utilizing a clone army is the best strategy for the Empire. As Tarkin stated in the Bad Batch, a conscripted army would cost the Empire a fraction of the cost that a clone army would, so Tarkin, Rampart, and other Imperials are inching closer and closer to eliminating the need for clones. Freeing up funds that would otherwise go to the creation of clones would allow Tarkin to work on other projects like that of the Death Star. Since we know that Project War Mantle was responsible for the Empire's shift away from utilizing a clone army, and towards a conscripted army, will we find out that the initiative was also responsible for the creation of Death Troopers. In Episode 3, Admiral Rampart introduced Harkin to his first elite squad of Imperial trained soldiers. These soldiers, along with Crosshair as their commander, were sent to Onderon to eliminate a rebel enclave that resided on the planet. Once on Onderon, we got a closer look at Crosshair's new helmet and body armor, both of which really resemble what we've seen worn by Death Troopers. Crosshair and Rampart's elite troopers also even seem to have the same kind of physique as Death Troopers. Additionally, at one point in Episode 3, we saw Rampart's elite troopers being examined and tested on by medical droids. Same goes for Crosshair, who we saw also had tests done on him at the beginning of the episode. Death Troopers were subjected to a battery of physical tests and classified surgical enhancements, making them somewhat beyond human, and they were also required to meet rigid physical and ideological standards. The exam and or tests being done on both Crosshair and Rampart's troopers could relate to the test Death Troopers had to endure. Furthermore, the Bad Batch has really hammered home the notion that Crosshair is staunchly loyal to the Empire because of his augmented inhibitor chip. We even saw Crosshair's inhibitor chip at work when he uttered good soldiers follow orders while murking one of his troopers that disobeyed his orders to execute the rebels on Onderon. So, in the early stages of Rampart's work for Project War Mantle, we've seen the Imperial Admiral enlist conscripted soldiers for the Imperial military, and we've seen him create an elite squad of soldiers. These elite troopers were led by a surgically augmented and enhanced clone who just so happened to rock a helmet and body armor that looks like a death trooper while also having the same kind of physique that death troopers had. This leads me to believe that we're seeing the creation of death troopers in the early going of the Bad Batch. If we're seeing the creation of death troopers, is it possible we'll learn that death troopers had inhibitor chips implanted in them? Since we know death troopers had classified surgical enhancements and had to meet rigid physical and ideological standards, I think there's a very real possibility that we might see Rampart's elite troopers have inhibitor chips implanted in them, leading to the birth of Death Troopers. It makes sense that the Empire would not only want to create a conscripted army that would cost far less than a clone one, but that they'd also want to create an elite squad of Death Troopers to assist them in strengthening their grip on the galaxy. And since the Kaminoans have the ability to create inhibitor chips that make soldiers staunchly loyal and subservient, it stands to reason that the Empire would want to explore implanting 
Fighting Inhibitor Chips into one of, if not, the most elite squad of soldiers in their military. As we continue to learn about Project War Mantle, its success in implementation, along with Governor Tarkin and Admiral Rampart's machinations, it'll be interesting to see the Empire shift towards a conscripted military. We know that at some point, the Empire will decide to completely move away from the use of clones for their military. Once that happens, I think it will only be a matter of time before we see the creation of Death Troopers in the Bad Batch. But what do you guys think? Do you think we'll see the creation of Death Troopers in the Bad Batch? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.